All right, well, I heard today's digits puzzle was interesting. I actually heard from one of my members, in fact. Um, so, again, I'll, that re always reminds me to try to plug the memberships. So, you know, click join under the video if you're interested in supporting the channel in that way. Uh, you get a little letter next to your name and some emojis you can use and such. Uh, I, I'm not good at promoting those things, so I try to remember every once in a while to mention it. But... We are going to do digits. This is the game that is a math game. Basically, the, the number at the top is our goal. The six numbers down below are the numbers we can use. We're going to have five different target numbers, and that's about it. Um, I mean, this one seems obvious. 25 times... Oh, nope, that's not... That's not at all right. I said it seems obvious, uh, but 25 times 4 is 100, not 80. We need to do 25 minus 5 times 4... Plus three. Pro tip, before you say that some math thing is obvious, make sure you did the math in your head right. All right, um, so. Uh, I mean, 10 times 10 is where we wanna go here. So that's 100, and then we've got two times three is six, and we can add it to the 100 to get 106. All right, next one, 236. It's not a multiple of three, um, it is uh, a multiple of four. It would be, what, 59 times four? Can we get to 59 somehow? Uh, well, almost, probably can. Otherwise, I mean, 20 times um, 11 is 220, and then we would need, can't quite get 16 then, if we do, well, if we do, oh, we could do 4 and 7, I was thinking 5 and 6 is 11, but 4 and 7 is 11, and then, what did I say, we need 16? I don't know if there's a good way to get 16, but those we can get 14 and 13, and okay, so... Otherwise, 20 times 12 would be 240. Yeah, that's it. 20 times 12 is 240, and then 8 minus 4 is 4, and we can do 240 minus 4, 236. There we go. Next puzzle. Okay. 318. Uh, this is a multiple of 3, but not 9. So I don't know how helpful that is. Uh, 20 times 15 is 300, and then we just have to add 18, and, uh, um, it's close, it's close, <laughs> I don't know if, can we get 18? There's gotta be a way to do 18, right? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure, there's kind of, it feels like there should be a way to do 18 with these other four, but... Yeah, 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 there is. Okay, so what we do is we do... <laughs> there might be a better way, but this is the way I'm going to do it. We get 13, and then we subtract 11, which is 2, multiply it by 9, which gets us 18. And then we can do 20 times 15, add the 18, 318. There we go. Okay. On to the final one. A lot of times, so theoretically they get harder as you go along, but it feels like the fourth one is often the hardest. Sometimes the fifth one, but... Lately, anyways, the fourth one seems like it's been harder. So... Not a multiple of three or nine uh, or seven. Now, seven, uh, 70 times seven would be 490. But is there a good way to get 70 is the question. We can do 99 minus 19 is 80, not 70. Not helpful. Plus, then even when we get to 490, then we need to be able to get one. Okay, so that's not going to be good. Uh, let's see. What else could we do instead of that? So this isn't... I don't think this is, like, a multiple of anything nice. Could be a multiple of something. Or it could even be prime. I'm not really sure. But it feels like it might be prime. But I, I can't say for sure. So, anyways. What do we want to do here? So... I mean, we could get 21 with 3 times 7. 21 times 23 is... Uh, 4, 483? 483. And then we would need to add 
8. 8, which is 19 minus 11. Yeah, 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 that'll work. So 7 times 3 times 23. Is that 483? Yep, we need 8. And 19 minus 11 is 8. So we just add that to 483. And there we go, 491. All right, cool. Well, uh, I, I didn't feel like that was too bad today. I went pretty quick. Um, there was a few tricky, the last couple were a little bit tricky, but uh, maybe I just happened to think of the right approach or maybe I'm just getting better at finding the right approach after doing more of these, I don't know. But let me know if you had a different operation than me on any of these, especially uh, oftentimes there's one where I do like five, six things with some complicated string and people are like, why didn't you just do the easy way with two numbers, you know? So let me know if there was one of those, there probably was. Uh, and, and how you did with today's digits. How many stars did you get? Did you get them all done? Which one was the hardest? And be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. We'll pick a random available seat. Why? Who knows? That's just the kind of thing hypothetical passengers do. Um, that's pretty good. Let's go with that. Wow. No way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, either a part or short could be right. Or neither of them could be right. Who knows? I mean, 20 times 11 is 220, then we would need to add 53, 40 plus 13 is 53. There we go, 11 times 20 is 220, 